today we're going to do a test of the ADS PH15.2 and we're going to use this original cable that we got picked up from a guy who's got a lot of old school um, parts so I'm going to plug it in so I'll plug it in now these aren't denoted which is which channel um, so we'll have to figure that part out and I wanted to also show you that I've got just speakers going into channel one here so Go ahead and turn on the amp with the turn on lead and we've got the um, the iPod playing right now so we're going to go through the channels here so this is the blue see if that get anything out of channel one nothing there so then we'll try the white this one's got white on it so we'll go into both jacks still got nothing and we'll go to yellow. I'm getting nothing out of channel one. Now, just to make sure and show you that the amplifier is turned on, we're going to switch the speakers to two, channel two. And if I recall correctly, I believe the white, I believe the white one. There you go. You can see this is the white connector, and channel two is working. But when I plug the speaker into channel one, which would be this connector here, I don't get any sound. So let me switch it back. We verify the amp is on. So we're going to go back into channel one. So it should be this connector here. We get no sound. Now, I'm going to power down the amp real quick using the turn on switch. I'm going to let it turn off and I'm going to take a different DIN plug that I have that was sent with the amplifier and show that it works. So here's the DIN plug that was made by Rick. I'll plug it in and he made the short cables here the front channels so I'm going to go ahead and well let's go ahead and plug the iPod in should be into this one it's still playing and then we'll do the turn on there it is it's working so this is the front channel channel one on the amp for some reason we got a break in the cable here one of the DIN connectors is not connected right to the RCA jack so I just wanted to show you that little demo hopefully we can get another one of these cables all right so what I've decided to do here is use my fl fluke multimeter here and I'm gonna go ahead and test all of the um, the leads here and figure out which one of these is not working so hopefully I get myself within the camera so we know or at least we, we're pretty sure that it's one of the black ones and not one of the uh, not one of the other ones. So let's go ahead and so that one's good. And according to the the ADS um, picture that I have from the manual, that is pin number six, which should be channel six. That one's working fine. So let's try. And we'll see what color that is, by the way. That's a yellow. The yellow is working fine. So let's try the blue next. Let's go use to enter. And then let's find out it's that pin, which according to ADS, I've got this upside down. Let me turn it over so you can see it right. This pin here, which according to the manual, is pin number five, which should be channel one. 
That's somehow not right because we know channel one doesn't work. Let's go to this one. And let's go and test the We get nothing. So this is the one for channel one that's not getting continuity and we can verify we've got ground. So the ground is working, it's just the, the inner conductor is not, nothing there. And I'll go to the red one here, show that it works. It's that pin right there, which is pin number one according to the pinout. So anyway, it looks like on the white um, connector here, which translates to channel one on the amp, for some reason the, um, you can see here, I printed this off. The, uh, the one that's not working is actually conductor number four, which is supposed to be channel three. I don't, I don't know why. I've tested all the other channels and they work fine. So the only one that doesn't work here, and I'm not going through all of them, but I can. This is the blue. That pin. That pin's working. So here's the yellow. that pin and the red it's that pin so as you can see the white the black RCA jack on the white one is the only one that's not working and it translates somehow to channel one although the pinout doesn't really match with what I see with what I see here because the red one of that channel Again, we're on white. We'll get to the red one. It shows, um, it actually shows that that's channel one, according to the, let me turn it so you can see it. See, it's actually the second one up. And look here. The second one up from the bottom is this one, which is pin number one. That's channel four is what it says, but that one's working. It's this one is the one that's not working. So anyway, that was a long, dramatic explanation as to show that there's something, something broken here in the cable. I'm not sure where the contact is broken, but it's broken. So hopefully we can get another cable. So just wanted to show you. Thanks.